Hey guys, um, nothing very special to be honest at the moment. Um, this video is just going to be um, basically a follow up on one I've made previously. Now I've had more of time to use this. Um, basically addressing um, the attitude of the average PC Windows PC user. Um, and how they're constantly flaming and slamming like Mac users and like you know Macs. You know I think they ain't mostly iMacs and stuff. And, you know um, I'm gonna try and um, go through a couple of the things that I know to say and try and address the issues one by one. However, I might not be perfect with it because my memory is terrible, so I might not should be able to commit everything they say to memory and such. So I might come up with a few of my own, like, you know, things that I'd expect people, you know, narrow my people to say about Max or whatever. Or, you know, that I preconceptions I might have had about Max before I've used one. Um, one of the most common things, um, well, it kind of comes into one thing here, but I'm going to split it up. Um, Macs are overpriced. I used to think that all the time, all the sodding time, I used to think that because I'd seen that some stuff, you know, and how like, you know, there were limited models kind of, well, let's just look at iMacs in particular because they're the mainstream model, right? iMac, you've got about, what, four models or whatever. The cheapest one, I mean, nowadays anyway, the cheapest one, I'm going to talk in my currency as well, so sorry for the American viewers, but you have to, you know, you have to find the, you know, American equivalent or whatever. Um, the cheapest one, though, out of these, what, four to five iMac, you know, limited iMac models, is £999. Now, currently, that's the one I'm using. Um, they call it entry level. But they don't like to call it a base system or whatever, which I can understand, because it's not low spec or anything like that. Right. Um, now, as I say, you're ranging from £999, so pretty much a grand, and it only gets higher from there. Um, now, that, from, from an outsider perspective, could look, you know, ridiculously expensive. You know, but um, when you consider what a Mac, what an iMac comes with, what is included, and the kind of hardware that's in there, it's always nearly always going to be a current with some of the latest and greatest hardware. Um, plus, you know, the quality of the peripherals that come with it. The you know the um, wireless keyboard. You know, which I'm a big fan of um, the uh, wireless multi-touch Magic Mouse, which I have to admit, if you had this sold by any other company, it would be sold separate to any PC-based system. But if you had it for like you know Windows-based PCs and whatever, you know, something separate, it would be top of the range. One of the most expensive, you know, mice you could actually purchase. That's all bundled in with any iMac per, per any iMac purchase, be it the cheapest one, entry level one, or the most expensive, most powerful one. You're getting the same peripherals. All I, iMacs, as I've mentioned before, um, I believe, come with a built-in iSight webcam. Which is just up there. Now this has come with some of the latest models. As I say, they never used to have this. It used to be a separate thing, but that used to be like kind of a new thing for me. Um, but now it's built into the screen. Now you could say, and a lot of people would say, well, if it's built into the mod to the iMac, there's no flexibility. You can't move it around. You can't angle it and such. Um, what I've come to realise, or you know, notice that there's no there's no real need to fiddle with it and move it around. 
not that you could, but there's no need to. I mean, now you can see I'm sat and the, on an armchair in front of my Mac. You know, this is what I used to be saying when I was using my PC as well. I've got a little shelf down here that you can't see, but right down here, you know, just kind of overlapping this arm, you know, this side, this arm of my armchair. Um, and that houses my wireless key, Mac keyboard. And then I've got a little shelf a little higher up, but still below, you know, what you can see. Um, and that houses my clutter, my crap basically, and my um, wireless magic mouse. Then, a bit higher up, here, I've got another shelf up here, which basically houses the iMac itself. You know, the screen and stuff. And then obviously the um, iSight camera is built into the top of that screen. So it's up here. Now, uh, it, the, cam, the cam is up here, or whatever. I'm down here, compared. And as you can see, you can see me perfectly well. <laughs> you can see my fucking entire room perfectly well. But yeah, you can see me perfectly well without a problem. Now obviously the average Mac user is going to be sat right in front of the monitor, probably like that. Now look at, you know, how perfect the view is there. Well, it's not a very good view because you've got a view of me and, you know, but still relatively, you know, it's still Sunday morning and, you know, I look like crap, but, you know, regardless, no need to move it about or anything, picks you up fine. Also got integrated built-in mic which is brilliant quality now those that have watched me make a webcam video or you know i've made or any screencast i've made in the past on my old piece on my pc i've um always been i've always had this big headset dunked on the head now i can relax sit back you know just sit back however i wish and just Talk, just talk. It looks like I'm talking to myself, talking to thin air. I prefer it a lot because it makes me feel more relaxed because I haven't got wires attached to it. I'm worried about snagging or whatever. You know, I can spaz out, I can just relax, I can do whatever and just talk. And I know that I'm being recorded. Also, in an iMac, you've got your built in um, Wi Fi where um, basically you can connect to a wireless router so you can connect to the internet wirelessly without need of cables using airport and such without buying anything extra no dongles no wireless adapters which most of the time you'll need to get for a windows pc or whatever you know for for a pc i mean i know technically a max is kind of pc but we're going to be setting max and pcs just to simplify things so yeah, for a PC, you'd normally have to refer to the dongle or stuff for that. <sighs> God, I'm talking so much. Ah, out of breath. Um, so yeah, you've got that. You've also got built-in Bluetooth, which is how your wireless keyboard and Magic Mouse connect to your iMac using Bluetooth. Um, <clears throat> and... You know, it is genuine Bluetooth, you know, which you would, again, need to purchase probably a separate dongle um, to actually, um, you know, to actually get with a PC. Here, if I can turn on the Bluetooth on my mobile phone. I can send files to my, um, to my um, iMac um, via Bluetooth from my phone. I can send them to my phone wirelessly via Bluetooth from my Mac and I've not had to purchase anything extra, it all comes part and package. You know, the su stuff such as that, you know, everything that's built in, you know, so many things included, a Mac more than pays for itself. I mean, I guarantee you when you're saying, oh, well, I bought this PC, you know, to add this and that hardware and whatever, you know, and it was nowhere near expensive. Does that include, you know, well, nowhere near expensive. For the same price, I bought this and that hardware and more powerful, blah, 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 blah. But does it, in 
are you including um, your peripherals in that? You know, a web, a, a good quality VGA webcam. Because I mean, this webcam is VGA, but the picture quality is flawless. It is absolutely gorgeous. It works perfectly. You know, so you know, in that pricing, are you including good quality? You know, top of the range VGA webcam, a mic, a desktop mic, a uh, multi-touch wireless mouse, a uh, top of the range wireless keyboard, Bluetooth, a Bluetooth dongle that you'll probably need to purchase as extra, a uh, Wi-Fi dongle. You know, and probably a few other bits that I can't, that I'm not, that I can't think of at the moment. Are oh, you including all of them bits and bobs? Now, another which kind of ties me into another issue that people bring up: um, Macs are for noobs, for the technophobic and whatever. Why? Because Macs are simple. Because once you've got past the initial learning curve. Macs are just so easy to use and just work like that. Boom, boom, snap, snap. I want to get this done, it's done. I want to get this done, it's done. I want to get this done, it's done. You know, rarely any er rarely errors. You know, everything gets done fast. I mean, I'm talking to you now, recording this webcam via photo booth on my entry-level iMac. I almost guarantee you, if I pressed a button now to enter Time Machine... You know, of all its fancy graphical, you know, interlude and stuff, I guarantee you it would work fine. <clears throat> um, but, um, so yeah, that's, uh, you know, addressing some of them issues. Just because something works, and what works well, works simply, just because someone wants that, it doesn't mean they're a technophobic or whatever, because they don't want to spend hours fiddling about with this, that and the other to get everything working just the way they want it. Everything pretty much worked just the way they want out of the box. Now I've installed a couple of third party softwares, but that's it. I've not fumbled about with hardware, with certain set, tweaking this many settings here there, and everywhere. Everything just works. So that ties in with that. So yeah, overpriced, maybe once upon a time, I don't know, but they're certainly not overpriced now. You get what you pay for. Uh, for noobs, the good for noobs, yeah, but you know, for the technophobic stuff, only for noobs, no. Just because they work well, and after the learn the initial learning curve are pretty simple, that does not make them for noobs only or for the technophobic. Um, what else? Um, Windows PCs basically run any game. You can't run games on a Mac. Well, you can run games on a Mac. That's one thing. So those that say that are totally bullying. But, you know, you can't run many games on a Mac. Now, this is what you forget. A Windows PC, and I'm not including setting up a hacking task because I'm pretty sure, technically, it's not legal. If it was, Apple would, you know, Make it more universally compatible with any hardware. Make it, you know, it's not, you're not meant to do it. I don't, and I'm pretty sure it's not legal. So don't, not including Apple Hackintosh, a Windows PC, you can install Windows on it. Fine. You can install Linux on it if you really wish as well. And that's it. You know, you can find mostly mainstream operating system wise to Windows. On a Mac, You've got OS X pre-installed and such, which is, you know, practically the only operating system you'll ever need for every, everything and anything but gaming. And then, for running your games, and bear in mind, this is the cheapest Mac, you know, entry-level Mac that I've got here. I can use Boot Camp to install Windows that are, you know, Windows that I've been running on my PC or whatever. I can install Boot Camp. Reboot, boot into Windows, install my games. I can run games like um, Oblivion. I've not checked Fallout 3, but, I'm, but I could probably run Fallout 3 on this entry-level system. I can still run some, you know, pretty reasonable games. And for anything else, I've got an Xbox 360 sat down there. 
Why let it go to waste? Um, anyway, I could go on and on and on and on about this, you know, and argue every single point. But I'm tired, I'm busting for the loo, and I've just passed a 15 minute mark, and obviously I can't get to 16, otherwise this won't upload to YouTube. So, um, yeah, I might make a follow up on this, I might not, but I've made enough points as far as I'm concerned. Um, I used to be a PC user. I've never been anal about it. I've never been an arsehole. You know, but anyway, got to go before it goes to 16. This is uh, Jay Underdark. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.